Hey guys, welcome to No Code Engineer. In this lesson, I'll show you how to make the number up and down controller, which looks like this. If you click on the up button, the numbers go up and you click on the down button, the numbers go down. I'm going to show you how to make an input controller like this in this session. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go ahead and delete everything that I've created right now. So the first thing that you will need is an input box for this controller. Make it a bit smaller and I'm going to name it number and the input name would be real input. And then I'm going to have two icons for the up and down control. I'm going to choose the up icon from here and I'll give it some different style, maybe no background and no border. And then let's set the icon color to this. All right. Since this uh, icon looks a bit smaller, I'm going to make it a bit larger. All right. And I'm going to place it here. I'm going to copy paste this icon and place it on the top of the previous icon and change the up icon to the down icon. Okay. So you can notice that both of our icons are on the top of each other. I do this because uh, the icons are, if, if you use the icons as buttons, then uh, the icons don't look good because they are a bit small in size, you know. So that's why I enlarge the icons and I place it on the top of each other so that the icons are now, they now look bigger and uh, they now look much better. And instead of the icons themselves, I use a button to give the command to the icon. I use my button here, just... All right, I'm gonna give it a no background and delete what it says here. And I'm gonna name it button up. Let's copy paste this button, bring it down here. So that's it. We have our two buttons here. Let me give a name to this button, button down. Now, when button up is clicked, whatever value that is inside of this box should go up by one or let's say five or ten. You can choose any number you want. So I'm going to choose one here. When button this is clicked, start edit workflow. When button up is clicked, we're going to choose an element action, set state. We're going to choose a real input as a source to keep our variable. And I'm going to create a variable right now here custom state which basically means a variable and I'm gonna name, give it the name uh, let's say variable one the type of my variable would be number and create so when button up is clicked the value of my variable one inside real input would be the value of real input and I don't see any plus sign here. That's probably because I did not set the content type of the input. So let's go back to design and set the content type of this input box. The content format would be an integer or decimal. Let's say decimal here. And now let's go back to the workflow. And now we can see that the real input value, we have the plus minus options here now. Let's say plus, one you can choose any number maybe five increments of five or increments of ten i'm going to choose an increment of one so when button up is clicked the variable one will have a value of real input value and plus one now let's go back and give the same command to the down button start a workflow in here we go to element actions set state we're going to select the same element because that's where our variable is, variable one, and here the value would be now 
the real input to value minus one. That's it. So when button up is clicked, it goes plus one. And when button down is clicked, it goes minus one. Now let's go back to design and here in the number input the initial content let's give it a content value of zero you can have any value you can even have a dynamic data here and we have to make this input disabled this input is disabled you have to check that box otherwise this function would not work properly and finally one important thing to do is to go to conditionals and give a condition here let's say when this inputs ribble one is not empty the initial content then would be this inputs ribble one so now let's go to preview and see if our function works we can see that the input box has an initial value of zero and we're not able to change the number here uh, now let's see if the number changes if when we press the up or down button oh it works it does work and the down button it also works uh, so that's it and that's how you create an up and down number controller in bubble thank you so much guys for watching and i'll come back with more videos soon stay tuned